Hello there. We're going fishing today. I am pumped. So, ever since I saw Shady 80 Ranch Lake out here at Quiver River State Park, last year I think, for the first time, really uh, been curious about uh, what the fishing would be like there. It used to be an old uh, church day camp, separate from the park and um, then it was acquired by the park some years ago i really don't know how long ago and it's supposed to have some catfish bass panfish like crappie bluegill that kind of thing and uh, i know it doesn't get any fishing pressure it's about a two mile hike from the trailhead and uh, it just you know, i've never seen anybody out there when i've been there so i'm heading out there to see how the fishing is Made it. Now to get the ticks off, and then we'll get this rig set up, see what's in this lake. I'm excited. I've been thinking about this for a while. This pavilion is really nice. We've got this little finger area. That'd be a great place to fish. The dam out there to the left. I forgot, I think this is seven acres. I'm not positive on that. Beautiful view from this pavilion though. All right, so I just brought a small assortment of spinning lures out here. I didn't really pay attention. I've got a jig and a little worm, something the bass might go for. And if I'd have thought about bringing a hook with all these cicadas out here, that'd be interesting to try fishing with those. Well, I know we have snakes and turtles. Several of them went into the water off the bank as I was coming down. Let's see if there's any fish. Well, I thought I'd take a break, make myself some coffee. So my original plan was to come out here early this morning. We were supposed to have a big round of thunderstorms coming in by 10 this morning, originally. <clears throat> and uh, before I left, they moved that back to somewhere between 12 and 12.30. So I came out here later left the coffee in the pack and threw some lunch in and I thought what I'd do is get some fishing in when the rain started have some coffee I even brought a book and a cigar actually and uh, then I'd relax a little bit have some lunch and then when the storm was over I'd try some more fishing and head on back well now they've moved the storm to somewhere between 3 and 3 30 I don't think it's gonna happen but you never know right so I've been fishing for a bit, I don't know, hour and a half, I'd say, and haven't had a single bite, which does not mean there's no fish here. I'm not the best fisherman, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and I've only been fishing from this one little spot just uh, off the bank, outside the pavilion. Wow, these bugs. I think if you were out here, it looks like a really shallow lake, and it's not a large lake. If you're out here in a boat where you can get out into the middle with the deeper water, I think you probably have a pretty fair shot. Doesn't mean you can't catch anything off the bank here. I'm trying to stay out of the weedy areas because of the ticks. <laughs> it's 
Let's get some coffee going. I think I'll chill out for a little bit. And then try fishing in another spot. Maybe off the, well, off the dam, but that's a, not a very steep dam, so that'd be pretty shallow too. I'll look around. And uh, you know, just being out here fishing is a lot of fun. I don't have to catch any fish to have a good time. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's such a beautiful afternoon. I probably have a couple of coffees. Brought out the book. Brought out the cigar. I think I'll sit in this pavilion and just enjoy being here. It's beautiful. We've got a light breeze. I don't know what the temp is. I think mid to high 60s. Um, rippling water out there just enough sun but not too much it's gorgeous out here I'm loving it it's all to myself two miles out in the woods life is good There's nothing like getting lost in a good book in a beautiful setting. I don't think I've ever done this before, actually. I'm really enjoying this. It's going to be tough to get back to fishing, but uh, I'm going to have that second cup of coffee, finish this cigar, and then I'm sure I'm going to get back to fishing and probably try and head out before those storms get here. I'll probably move back to five or six by now. <laughs> Chicken teriyaki rice. I'm not that hungry. It's always good to have a backup, you know? So I just checked the weather radar, and that storm front's pretty close, actually. I'm not sure I'm going to make it back to the car dry. We'll find out. So I'm going to get packed up. Never did get a bite. Doesn't mean there's not fish out there. Last time I was here, there was a canoe tucked away in the woods over here. It's not there now. One time I saw a guy with, oh, there's another tick, with a kayak above his head coming down the trail headed this way. And that's dedication. Well, there's another tick. All right, I'm going to get packed up, and then we're going to hit the trail and see if we make it. We made it. Yeah, man, that felt like a race. It keeps getting darker and darker. That storm front is close. You know, on the radar, it looks big and ugly. Man. And I had to stop every couple of minutes to pick ticks off, so it was slowing me down. But it's all good now. All right. Thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed our time together. See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>